Hello, in today's class we are going to deal with film reviews. So, three different objectives have been set for today's lesson. First, to make students familiar with what a film review is. Second, to study the structure of a film review. And third, to present vocabulary related to films and cinemas. In order to start, I'm going to ask you some warming up questions. 1. What is a film review? 2. Have you ever read one? 3. Did your reading of a film review encourage you to see that film? We will start by describing what a film review is. It is a short description of a film, where the writer provides details of the movie analyzed and gives his opinion or recommendation of the film. The register used may be formal or semi-formal, depending on the addresses and kind of newspaper or magazine where it will be published. Present tenses and a variety of adjectives are frequently used. Let's see the structure of a film review. It should consist of three different parts. An introduction, a body and a conclusion. Let's analyze each of these three parts in detail. First, we will focus on the introduction, which is the first paragraph. It summarizes all the background information of the film. It may include references to the title, director, type of film, setting, if it's based on a book, characters, etc. The body is the second part and it may be composed of two paragraphs. The second paragraph, it offers a summary of the plot, focusing on the main aspects. The third paragraph includes general comments on the plot, the development of the main characters, the acting, the direction, etc. Note, the end should not be revealed to the reader. The conclusion is usually the last paragraph of a film review. Here the writer provides a general assessment of the film and his opinion about it. The writer recommends or does not recommend the movie. He should give reasons to support his opinion about the film. We will now explain the process that may be followed when writing a film review. It includes different steps. The first step consists of watching a film with a critical eye. Write down the description of the most significant parts and details which you will include into your work. The second step that you may follow is to take note of information on the director, main characters, historical period used in this film, soundtrack, editing and camera work. The third step would consist of writing an outline with the main ideas you want to develop in each paragraph. Remember to include a topic sentence which summarizes the main idea of each paragraph. The next step, which is the fourth, would be your first draft. Start writing the paper considering the structure presented, four different paragraphs. Be creative and use quite a lot of cinema-related vocabulary. The last suggested step would involve the following activities. Edit and proofread your final review for mistakes, grammatical, spelling, word order, etc. Avoid vocabulary repetition. Check that you have followed the full paragraph structure. 
Use an appropriate register, formal or semi-formal. Contractions, abbreviations, colloquial language should be avoided. Check margins, font types and size, double spacing, etc. Ask a partner to read your film review to get some feedback before submitting your work. We will talk about different genres or types of films. Science fiction, comedy or sitcoms, romance love stories, horror films, don't use terror films, thriller, spy film, erotic or pornographic, musical, detective story, mystery film, adventure or action film, biography, western, animated films or cartoon, historical, war film, gangster film. This part of the class intends to provide you with some useful vocabulary for film reviews. First, we'll start by presenting useful words to use in your film review. For example, soundtrack, script, plot or storyline, stunts or stuntman, special effects, box office hit, rehearsal, masterpiece, Star, which may be used as a verb or as a noun. Hero or hearing. Opening. End or ending. Episode. Premiere. Climax. Cast of characters. Leading or supporting character. Sequence or scene. Let's see useful adjectives. We'll start with the positive adjectives. Interesting, good, exciting, funny, fantastic, fascinating, amusing, moving, excellent, entertaining, realistic, long-running, well-developed, convincing, gripping. Some negative adjectives are boring, sad, bad, poor, dull, terrible, dreadful, thrilling, predictable, unimaginative, weak, frightening, scary, unbelievable. We'll refer now to some useful expressions that may be used in each part of the film review. First, in the introduction to create the background to the film, we could start by writing, this film is set in... The movie tells the story of This excellent film is based on In the second paragraph where we may offer the summary of the plot we might write The storyline or the plot focuses on The film reaches its climax The story begins In the third paragraph we will provide some comments on the film that we could start with expressions such as the acting or the development of the main leading character is fascinating, excellent, the script is bright, dull, the end is surprising, predictable. The fourth paragraph should be the conclusion. And here we could include sentences which start like this. It's worth seeing. I would would not recommend it because do not miss it. We have reached the end of this class. So after this lesson, you should know what a film review is, the different parts of a film review, useful vocabulary to be used in film reviews, and the process of writing a film review. You are now expected to do the activities posted on Prometeo to improve your writing skills. If you need some more reading on this topic, see this reference. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day.
Universidad de las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.